Thank you, Boji. Here we'll talk about the weight change of a body on a planet, a fundamental question based on uh, the acceleration due to gravity on surface of Earth. It says the ratio of the weights of a body on Earth's surface to that on the surface of a planet is 9 by 4. And it is saying mass of planet is 1 by 9th of that of the Earth. And if R is the radius of Earth, we radius of planet. So, here we can directly say weight is equal to m into gs, where m into gs is gm by r square. This is the expression we use. Now, if we talk about the weight ratio on earth to that on the surface of planet, the weight on earth upon weight of planet, m gets cancelled out, it is g on earth surface upon g on planet. So, here value of m and g is getting cancelled out, this mass of earth upon a radius of earth square divided by mass of planet upon radius of planet square. And this value is given to us as 9 by 4. And here it also says the mass of a planet is 1 by 9 times to that of the earth. So, here we can write Me by Re square multiplied by here it is Rp square divided by Mp. We can write as Me by 9. This equals to 9 by 4. So, here this gives us a value. Directly Me gets cancelled out. This 9 gets cancelled out. This gives Rp square is equals to Re square by 4. So, the value of planet radius is equals to r by 2, that is the result. So, you simply this expression ko use karna and finally you are getting the result. Question is that I will explain it step by step explain karke ki examination all mein. You can quickly handle these questions and get the result. Thank you, Poji. Students, here we are going to talk about the escape velocity comparison. It says planet A has mass m and radius r, planet B has half the mass and half the radius of planet A. It says if the escape velocities from the planet A and B are Va, Vb respectively or Va by Vb ka value diya to what should be the value of n in this case. So, here we can check planet A ka mass m hai radius r hai to escape velocity on planet A agar hum nikalenge. To escape velocity we know it is given as root of uh, 2gm by r or is it the escape velocity for planet b dekhenge to usme planet b ke andar it is saying b has half the mass and half the radius so this 2gm ko m by 2 dal denge aur r ko bhi r by 2 dal denge now in this situation if you just check so you can see the both the values are coming out to be equal kyunki b ka mass bhi half kiya hai humne aur radius bhi half kari hai this comes out to be escape velocity of a so v a and v b are equal directly the value of n can be written as 4 that is the answer for this problem Thank you, Poji. Students, here we are going to talk about the case of oscillations in a tunnel, uh, where it says, assume that a tunnel is dug along the chord of earth and at a perpendicular distance r by 2 from the earth's center. Uh, situations are so, draw kar lete hain. this earth. Center say at a distance r by 2, we are digging out a tunnel like this. Now, in this situation, it says the wall of tunnel is frictionless and a particle is released in this tunnel. It will execute SHM. We need to find the time period. So, when mean position se at a distance x, here a particle will be So, a gravitational force would be acting toward the center of earth. And if this r, this x, this can be written small r, where small r is root of uh, x square plus r square by 4. So, gravitational force inside at a distance r is gm mr by r cube. This is the expression we use for gravitational force on a particle inside a spherical body. So, agar yahan pe dekhe fg, so jo restoring force lega if this angle is theta, so this restoring force will be, this distance is x and this restoring force will be fg cos theta. So, yahan pe directly restoring force hum lik sakte hain. fr is fg cos theta which is given by g m m by r cube multiplied by small r into cos theta can be written as x upon r to this r gets cancelled out. So, you can see restoring forces coming out to be proportional to x this can be written as m a is equals to minus sign will apply because the solution is opposite to x this g m m by r cube into x. So, this m also gets cancelled out. 
so we are comparing it with equal to minus omega square x so this gives the angular frequency of SHM which is root of gm by r cube that can be written as root of small g by r where small g is gravitational field on the surface of earth so time period can be written as 2 pi by omega is 2 pi root of r by gs that's the result uh, we are going to use for the time period of oscillation. Now, you can see that theoretically, we have concept video in this point that the time period of oscillation in a tunnel is that tunnel can be made in a diametrical point or in a chord. The time period is given by the same value. Thank you, Poji. <coughs> Students, so here we are going to talk about the case of comparing time period with a geostationary satellite. Time period comparison, as you have seen in your case notebook, you have to use Kepler's law of periods. Here it says a geostationary satellite is orbiting around a planet P at a height of 11 hours. That means the radius of orbit will be 12 hours above the surface of this planet, R being the radius of P. So here we can write the time period is proportional to R cube. This is what Kepler's law of period says. Uh, t square is proportional to r cube. <coughs> Here it says the time period of another satellite in hours we need to check uh, when the height is 2r from the surface of p. So, we can write t1 by t2 square is equals to first radius is 12r, second radius is 3r, 2 power whole cube. Where t1 is a geostationary satellite so it should be taken as 24r. So, this 24 by t2 should be equal to here r gets cancelled out. This is 4 to power 3 by 2 which comes out to be 8 that means the value of t2 is 24 by 8 coming out to be 3 r that's the answer to this problem now the sare cases to the point straightforward up handle kar sakte ho and you can get the result in one step sirf aapko relation click hona chahiye ki given situation mein kaun sa relation use hona hai